Hello, my name is Dr Kimberly Collins and I'm a Senior Lecturer in Forensic Psychology here at Teesside University and today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, what we use the mock courtroom for um, with regards to teaching on the psychology programmes. Um, we're very lucky to have the mock courtroom and we're one of the few universities in the UK that has a mock courtroom facility available to use during your teaching and research. For our undergraduate students, the courtroom is involved in teaching and it's also involved in their assessment. So for example, our second year theoretical approaches to forensic psychology students um, carry out their assessment in the courtroom where they've been given information about a case and then they are assessed as a group working as expert witnesses. Um, for third year, Applied Forensic Psychology, um, our students do a bit of role play, play in the courtroom and that's where they um, are given different roles like the barrister, the suspect, the witness, the jury um, and they all come together to play out a case in order that we can discuss how psychology is related to practice and persuasion in the courtroom. We also run the Masters in Forensic Psychology here at TSEG University and our students use the mock courtroom for one of their assessments where they are given given information about an offender and they are then questioned by a barrister um, as an expert witness in the witness box to discuss the reasons why that offender may have offended. And it's a really, really useful resource then for the students to have because it gives them a direct route into working as a practitioner which then enhances their employability. We're also lucky to be able to use um, the mock courtroom here at TSEG University for research purposes for both our undergraduates, postgraduates and our staff members and there are various articles um, in which the students and staff um, have looked at jury decision making. So this is where we have a mock jury who actually sits in our jury box here and they would listen to a, a live simulated case um, and the researchers would think about how the different elements in the case have affected the deliberation and ultimately the verdict of the jury. One of the best things that we have here for studying psychology and in particular forensic psychology at TSA University is that we have a, a range of practitioners who've actually got practical experience of working with offenders and working with vulnerable victims and witnesses in court and having this wonderful facility of the mock courtroom available to us also helps us transfer this knowledge and practice to the students in order that they're better equipped for working in forensic psychology in the real world.